First Stem is a NASDAQ listed company. We're here at the Biotech Showcase in San Francisco and we'll be talking to the chairman and CEO. Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining me. Good afternoon. Well, ClearStem uh, recently announced that it will begin a phase one trial for um, its uh, products. So could you tell me about this FDA clearance for the IND? Yes, of course. There's a product called PLX R18. PLX stands for placenta expanded cells and R18 for radiation and 18, which is in Hebrew, uh, live. So the purpose of the product is to deal with bone marrow failure. And the first IND we received for that product is to treat patients that uh, underwent bone marrow transplantation that failed. So whenever you have insufficient engraftment of the bone marrow transplant, the PLX R18 will be injected to those patients with the goal to recover the three blood lineages and to save their lives. And Zami, uh, Pluristem makes uh, cell therapy uh, products that are placenta-based. So for our viewing audience, could you tell me what other products are in your pipeline? We have today two products in the pipeline. The first one, which started clinical studies back in 2009, called PLX, PAD. Again, PLX for placenta expanded cells, PAD for peripheral arterial disease. And we conducted clinical studies in critical limb ischemia, which is the end stage of diabetic complication. Uh, as we speak, we run an intermediate education study, and we announced recently a successful study in muscle injury associated with hip replacement. And uh, Zami, we're here at a biotech conference. There's another healthcare conference uh, going on across the street as well. So could you tell me your take on trends you're seeing in the healthcare as well as biotech space in 2016? If you look into the biotech space, it looks like the immune therapy is the most successful product and uh, raise a lot of attraction and excitement from the pharma company. We strongly believe that in 2016, cell therapy, which we represent that sector, will uh, flourish and we'll see many success stories, good clinical data in 2006, which will build the interest of the cell therapy as it was or as it is with the immune therapy. And last but not least, before I let you go, some uh, people in the viewing audience might be uh, curious about the outlook for Pluristem financially as well as the company. So what's your take? I think that uh, 2016 for Pluristem will be in, uh, important in twofold. One, clinical data results will be published during the year. And second, we strongly believe that the raise of the interest of the Japanese companies for regenerative medicine may lead to a deal outlets and deal in Japan uh, with our CLA program. Just to remind people that we have been accepted by the PMDA, the Japanese the FDA, under the conditional approval process, and we are moving into the CLI program in Japan. Okay, Zami, well, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, and thanks for your insight. Thank you very much, too.